What is up, Omash Nation? How are you doing today? I hope you're doing awesome like always and are ready for a fun video. Today, we finally have some grade reveals back. We have CGC and Beckett. I know there's a first edition Charizard in here and I'm pretty sure we have some of the craziest error cards that I've ever seen. <laughs> and since the actual subs are pretty small, we are also opening a Fusion Strike booster box right here. It's only like the second time opening it on the channel. So hopefully we get some good pulls and I know we're gonna see some awesome cards with the grade reveal today. The members of the Omash Nation who are in this video are Nathaniel, Robert, and Jorge. And of course the services, we have a Beckett Premium Sub from November 16th. Then we have a CGC Express sub from October 16th and November 1st. Interesting how they clumped those two kind of together. And a CGC Economy sub from September 1st. So I hope you guys are pumped. If you love grade reveals, hit the like button right over there. <laughs> I always point this way first. Over there and hit that subscribe button as well to join the Omash Nation because you know we have a giveaway today. Every single video this month, we are doing a giveaway. And so on this video, all you have to do is comment your favorite grading company and why. I wanna know what your guys' favorite grading companies are, what you like to collect in your personal collection, and why. Nice and easy, make sure to comment on this video. A random comment will be picked for a winner of an Omash Mystery Slab Pack. And then also like the video and subscribe. Just a little way for me to give back this holiday season to all of you guys for the love and support. I really appreciate it. Good luck and let's get everything unboxed and ready to be opened and just have a blast. All right guys, everything's unboxed and ready to go. Let's start with the economy sub first over here from CGC. We have three cards, like I said, small little sub. Wouldn't have taken that much time to reveal them all, so that's why we're throwing in packs as well. First card of the day from CGC with their new label. Boom! CGC 9 Venusaur VMAX promo over on the English side. Beautiful card. We got the 9s on the white side and then it goes darker to 9.5s. Awesome looking card. I love Venusaur. Very nice. Next up we have... Boom! Ooh, 9.5, so close to a 10. Never expecting a 10 here on the channel though. <laughs> Celebi V Full Art, now this is actually my card. And Celebi is just one of my favorite Pokemon and I loved the colors and just the look of this card and so I thought it'd be nice to add to the collection. Very nice, happy with that 9.5. And then last for the economy sub, a Japanese card. We have a good chance for a 10. No, oh, of course, another 9.5. We got a waifu here, Aroma Lady, not bad. Just, you know, pulled it by myself and I thought it would look nice in a slab and it looks real nice. <laughs> nice on the eyes, am I right? So there we go, first little sub. Now let's get into some packs and guys, I know, I know, the openings don't do so hot when it comes to what you guys want to see but like I said I'm just doing this because we didn't have enough cards for like a full full video we could have gone through the cards in like five minutes and I like to post a little longer than that um, but you know for the most part if we go on <laughs> first pack magic school girl there we go <laughs> I, you cannot say waifu to this no matter who you are right <laughs> that was on the right side i wonder the right side left side which one's going to win today first full art of the day now guys like i said though this is only the second opening on the channel of fusion strike um and Privately, I have opened another box. As you guys know, the first time we opened it, we pulled a quote-unquote error box. <laughs> I got called out for like clickbait and stuff for all that because it wasn't a real error. And I'm like, come on, guys. I personally had never seen a box where you get two alternate arts. And out of all the people who saw all the video and the post on Instagram and uh, Instagram reels and stuff, only a few people have ever had it happen to them. And so, to me, I think it's kind of valid that it was an error box. <laughs> we got both of the Mew full art or alternate arts. Um, it was the Mew V Max alternate art and the Mew V. Absolutely crazy. Definitely the two <laughs> chase cards, for me at least, uh, in the set pulled in one box. Inteleon V, second hit. 
Um, but the Mew luck just kept on going. I opened up booster boxes by myself privately late at night one time <laughs> while uh, other people are doing other things late at night. I'm sitting there in my office by myself opening Pokemon cards. <laughs> uh, I was cracking up about it. Um, but I, I pulled the Rainbow Mew VMAX <laughs> by myself and so the Mew is just really digging me and following me around this set and I cannot complain. Now the only cards I really, really want left in this set are the Celebi alternate art. Um, the Espeon would be cool, but I do own the, the PSA 10 Japanese Espeon alternate art, so I do not need it, Swampert. Um, but I would like that Gengar VMAX, because it's a beautiful looking card. We will see if we can get lucky today and pull an alt art. We've pulled one full art, so hopefully this is not a dud box, but we will find out real quick. We're just going fast with the packs, having a good time talking, and yeah, we will get, maybe after the next hit, we will go back into the grades. Cause yeah, I know you guys want to see the graded cards and I'm excited to show you guys the crazy cards today. We got some bangers and some cards that literally are probably gonna blow your mind. <laughs> but guys, can we talk for a second about VMAX Climax and the craziness that has been uh, slowly being revealed with character cards. I can't even believe it. There are so many character rare cards coming out that it's going to be one of the best sets of all time. I think I'm going to try and complete a full binder because you know that binder is going to be sick. <laughs> uh, I completed a full binder of Cosmic Eclipse, the other set where character cards came out and it looks so good. But you know, the Japanese side with all the secret rares, Rillaboom, we'll count that as a hit I guess. Let's get into the CGC side. I believe this is an express sub. Let's see what card it is. Boom! Oh, beautiful Umbreon alternate art. The giant Umbreon on a building reaching for the moon. And look at that sparkle and texture, guys. That is something else. Such a cool card. We almost got that 10. Two 10s, two 9.5s. Come on, CGC. Just be a little more lenient. Beautiful card. Congratulations on that one. That is so awesome. Next up, guys, look at this. You can see the miscut label and look how miscut it is. We have CGC error cards today and I'm telling you guys, these ones are insane. Take a look at this card. Ready? <laughs> oh, another alternate art. Umbreon, we got a nine as the grade, the centering OC, error label, and look at that. You can't, it doesn't even say Umbreon. This is the Evolves from Umbreon V. <laughs> Insane. You can see the top is completely cut off and you can actually see the beginning of another card right under it. Have you guys seen miscuts like this? So crazy. And of course it is the Umbreon VMAX so I can't tell if that's a bonus or if it's kind of like, dang it. <laughs> Cause, oh, that is such a cool card though. And seriously, CGC is getting very popular when it comes to the error grading like this. In a lot of people's eyes, it is like one of their only things <laughs> going for them. But look guys, another one. This one's even worse, thicker on the bottom. We got the miscut error label again. Guys, you're gonna like this one. <laughs> the Dynamax. Ugh. It's because it's at the top, Dynamax. The VMAX Rayquaza alternate art. Again, a nine with the OC. And seriously, I don't know if you like this or you absolutely hate it because it is the alternate art Rayquaza and you can see the beginning of the rainbow. I think that is the Rayquaza rainbow right under there, but insane. You got a full art or alternate art and a rainbow in one card insane guys when i got these cards to be graded i was like my jaw was to the ground i've never seen something like this and it's so cool but at the same time if i pulled it i'd be like are you serious <laughs> the biggest chase cards are the ones that are absolutely wrecked when it comes to uh the cut i don't know 
definitely cool and unique, um, you know, because of the miscut error. But at the same time, it's like, ooh, I really want a, a mint version of that card. I don't know. <laughs> I was cracking up. I've never seen errors that bad before. And so thank you for trusting me, letting me grade that for you. Absolutely love to see stuff like that on the channel. So much fun. But I was saying back to VMAX Climax and whatever the English set is going to be, uh, the Japanese side has over 260 cards in the set after all the secret rares are accounted for. Um, that is by far like the biggest Japanese set of all time. Usually Japan does really small sets. And so you know when it comes over to us on over here in English, the set is going to have to break 300 cards. It's going to be the set that has more than 300 cards in the same set. First time in Pokemon history, making it the biggest set of all time. Currently this Fusion Strike is the biggest set of all time with like 282. But it's gonna be nuts, guys. I think they've revealed like, what, 20 uh, character cards or more? Uh, probably more. I've seen so many and seriously, they all look good. It looks like they are doing character normal V ultra rares all the way to, you know, the textured secret rares, Dodrio. Um, and it's the, I'm telling you, the set is gonna be beautiful. I think it's gonna be a fan favorite set for sure. Just so many good cards. And of course, there is a character rare Charizard with Leon. Oh man, guys, I'm so pumped for it. <laughs> Maybe we will have uh, the actual Japanese set, VMAX Climax, I think that's what it's called, right? That's what I've been saying. Um, here on the channel to open. Maybe we can uh, get some luck, get some good product from our man Joseph. But, um, yeah, we will see what happens. I never know when it comes to product. Oh, that scared me so bad. Oh, what if this was the alternate art? Gengar VMAX though, such a beautiful card still. Don't know what the value is of it anymore, but when this first came out, this was like a $30 card. I doubt it's still that, but beautiful. Oh, if we could only get the alternate art as well, that would be insane. One VMAX, one full art so far. Uh, still after this pack, a complete left side to go. Plenty of packs. We will see if this is a good box or not. Um, you know, if we pull a rainbow or a gold or an alternate art, it usually means it's a pretty good box. I've seen some crazy things obviously with this set though. But um, just because I wanted to see if we can get first pack magic on the left side because we got it on the right side. Love those Komiya cards though but we will see, and then, no, double clay doll. <laughs> Let's get into the next card. Last CGC card of today. You can see it's a little more beat up, but I believe this is a banger card. No error or anything. Here we go, guys. Boom. Woo! <laughs> Shadowless Charizard in the flesh. 6.5 and yeah centering 8.5 surface got a 7 and then the corners and edges 6.5 so you'd think they bumped that up to a 7 since two of them uh, I don't know how it works anymore but love to see it the shadowless space Charizard oh man every time I see a shadowless card I have to say it the shadowless just look better. But oh man, that's such a nice card. Oh, thank you so much for letting me grade it for you. Beautiful, congratulations as well. One card left and it is the biggest card of the opening. I mean, I don't know, those error cards are pretty cool. But yeah, we will see if we can pull anything else in this box. Maybe, you know, if we go on some dry streaks, I can speed it up or just skip the packs altogether because for the most part, it's just gonna me, be me talking a little bit. Um, other than, you know, next Thursday actually, not next Thursday, but this coming Thursday, we have another big reveal. We have a very nice PSA bulk sub coming in hot, and it's gonna be a fun one, because I just love the big PSA bulk returns, because so many good cards were just sent off when it used to be so cheap to do so, but stuff full. 
Oh, of course, we get the Chunky Boy Greedent V, <laughs> our second full art. It's a cute guy, but you know, definitely not the card everyone wants to pull. That gives us a VMAX and two full arts. Pretty standard for a decent box. I would be kind of surprised if we got anything else too crazy. Maybe another, uh, what's it called? VMAX, but we will find out here soon. Um, and that Luxray poll actually just reminded me, who's who here is playing the new Diamond and Pearl games for the Switch? I know I am. I got Brilliant Diamond, and this is my first time ever playing the Sinnoh region. I stopped at the Hoenn region uh, back when I was a kid, and so it's been super fun playing this for the first time, you know, going through all the maps. I don't know how different it is. I assume it's pretty similar, just kind of like how Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee were basically the same. Um, but it's it's fun. I haven't beaten it yet, but I am having a blast. I hope you guys are as well. Um, but yeah, I, because I had some save data <laughs> in some other games, I definitely got the Mew and the Jirachi uh, from those people. And I uh, Mew is just so good. Mew is definitely in my six because I love Mew, even though it's kind of cheap. <laughs> but oh, Mew is just too sweet. And I love giving him or her or whatever um, all the best moves. You know, one of each typing and uh, it's just too easy. But yeah, I like the other guys. I want to know who your starter was. I am definitely a Pipla person when it comes to Sinnoh. So I got my Empoleon right now. We're wrecking, we're kicking everyone's butt. It's just not even fair. But yeah, I feel like... The Sinnoh region is kind of small when it comes to like their specific Pokemon, their Pokedex. So like everyone has, there is our second V Max, two V Maxes and two full arts. Not bad at all. I will take it. And this one's actually pretty sick. Like the Cinderace V Max is so cool. <laughs> that huge fireball that he's just standing on. There's still a few, a good chunk of packs left. Um, so I'm going to be optimistic and say we do get something good, but we will see, um, what was I saying? Yeah, I'm, I was saying how everyone has a Luxray. <laughs> um, obviously I don't even know how to get Riolu or Lucario in the game, so I don't have a Lucario, but if I knew how to get it or when the time comes, I'd definitely rock him because Lucario is sick, but then... Hey, another VMAX, it is the Bolton. I guess this is the VMAX uh, and Full Art box. You know, not bad. VMAXs aren't the worst. They definitely aren't the best. But um, yeah, those are pretty good hit odds right there. We'll take them over just normal Vs, of course, or no hits at all. I will, you know, never be disappointed with that. Um, but yeah, I already forgot what I was saying because of that. Pretty sure we are done with this box. Maybe I will just skip forward. Last pack for this box. Will we end with some crazy last pack magic? Or if you're thinking what I'm thinking, I think that this box is done. <laughs> but you know, pretty good box. I will take it. Two full arts and three V maxes. That is definitely better than most. Pan Jam and the Toxtricity. Not bad at all. Let's get into this very last graded card. Alright guys, here it is. You can see it. We got a silver label. So it is either an 8.5 or a 9. Let's check it out right here. What card is it? Boom! We got a 9 for the first edition Dracophil. <laughs> I have no idea how to pronounce that. It is the French base set Charizard. Beautiful first edition Danza Flama. Whoa, guys. We have some hollow bleed on this Charizard as well. See it down here? I did not notice that when I was grading it. That makes it so much cooler in, in my eyes. Uh, some people don't like hollow bleed. I think it is so awesome, especially for these old cards because you don't see it that much. So basically an error <laughs> Charizard. Wow, that is awesome. And I have no idea what that is but it is getting spit out of his mouth along with the fire. 
So cool to see. Congrats on that nine. Beckett nine, beautiful, beautiful. And oh yes, I told you there were gonna be bangers today. I hope you guys enjoyed so much. I love showing off you guys' cards and I still can't get over those error CGC slabs. So insane. All right guys, we have so many giveaway winners to pick today <laughs> i'm so excited we have three different videos so many different giveaway winners i think we have five in total because the metazoo one there are going to be three. Oh, just get ready cross your fingers i wish you all good luck thanks for everyone who entered thanks for all the love and support i'm glad you guys got in and we are starting with last tuesday's video which was the meta zoo opening a lot of people actually really like this opening which i was surprised by so thank you for the support glad you liked it and we'll see if there's more meta zoo but all you had to do was comment uh do some research see if there is a cryptid of any kind in the area that you live um and share that or share your favorite cryptid and so we have 93 unique comments we are picking three winners. Remember, three winners are getting the 12 different packs. And this first winner will get the first packs of 1 through 12. So let's see who it is. Remember, if we pick any comments today that do not comply with the giveaway rules, then we will have to pick again. So let's see who giveaway winner number one is. For the packs, Kid Fresh. My favorite is... El Chupacabra. Always fun to watch your videos. Keep up the great work. Thank you for the support. Glad you liked it. You are getting packs 1 through 12 from MetaZoo. Congrats. Let's see who gets 13 through 24 now. Good luck, everyone. Good luck. No double winning, of course. No double winning. Kyle Swartz. Oh, man. This is a long one. I'm from New Jersey, so obviously the Jersey Devil is the cryptid we heard about the, the most as kids. I live about an hour away from the Pine Barrens, which is the birth location of the Jersey Devil. That's cool. The Pines are forests that stretch across several counties in New Jersey. Most people think of cities or beaches when they hear about New Jersey, but there's actually a lot of deep wooded dark forests where the Jersey Devil is rumored to lurk up until this very day. That is awesome. Thanks for doing the research and sharing all that. Contact me for your packs. 13 through 24 are yours. And the last winner of the Meta Zoo packs we have. Who's it going to be, guys? The best. Bob Marley. <laughs> hey, brother, I live in Maui and Menehune. I hope I'm saying that right. Is our MetaZoo cryptid. Love this game. Guys, congrats on the MetaZoo packs. I hope you enjoy. Get a good take on MetaZoo for yourself and see if you want to get involved and, you know, collect and open it because it is a fun time. Now getting on to the Dragon Ball video, Wednesday's video. All you had to do was comment your favorite Dragon Ball character of all time. And we have only 66 comments to pick from. Let's see who is the winner. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. <gasps> Trevor Edwards bought one of these after I watched your first DBZ video the other day. Mine comes tomorrow. My favorite character has always been Captain Ginyu. Why? Those poses, of course. <laughs> Good old Ginyu Force. Definitely cannot beat those poses. But congrats, Trevor, on winning the Dragon Ball Mystery Slab Pack. And now for the last one, we have the Digimon video from last Thursday. You just had to comment your favorite Digimon or <laughs> your favorite Christmas song. So there actually weren't a lot of entries on this one. We only have 33. If you followed the rules and entered, you have a good chance of winning. Let's see who it is. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Last one of today is Ethan. I used to have all these little Digimon toys when I was a kid. And for some reason, the one I remember most vividly was Puppet Mon. <laughs> so going to say he's my favorite. Puppet Mon is actually sick. He has one of the most annoying voices, but I just really enjoy the Dark Masters quite a bit. That arc was just so awesome. So congrats, Ethan, and congrats to all of the winners today. Make sure to contact me so that I can get your addresses and send you guys your prizes. You're all awesome. Thanks for all the love and support. Make sure to get in on today's giveaway and all of the other giveaways that are happening every single video this month. Thank you guys for trusting me with your cards. If you want to get your stuff graded, message me anytime. All of my info is in the description.
description. I would love to help out because it's honestly the best. And guys, remember to get in on the giveaway today for a mystery slab pack. All you have to do is like, subscribe, and comment on this video your favorite grading company and why. I can't wait to hear what your guys' opinions are. I hope you had a blast today. I know I did. I hope you have the best rest of the day as well, and I will catch you next time.